Today, I'm going to review three different high level websites that were submitted on an Instagram post that I made last week. I'm going to break these sites down, show you what I like, what I don't like and how to fix it. These sites belong to business and agency owners that have a website on high level. So if this is you, you want to make sure that you stick to the end of this video because I'm going to show you common mistakes that I see on high level websites, why they're hurting your conversions and what you can do to fix them. So with that, let's dive in. <music> All right, so the first website that I'm going to review is for this web design agency. There's a lot of things that I love about this website. I'm going to cover those first and then I'm going to show you what I would do to make it even better. At a first glance, this is very clear, very friendly. I love the fact that they're using this blue with white. Great combination. Something else that's cool is that there's kind of like a light gradient. So here it goes from a dark blue to a lighter blue. Something that I love is the fact that he added some elements to build social proof. One of them being this icon right here as well as this section right here which helps show how many years of experience this agency has or what sort of results they've been able to achieve for their clients then we see that there's a our services section there's some cool images that help illustrate the point then we have this section right here which is kind of like showing what working with this agency would look like so it's great that he's kind of show or laid out these steps right here now that i show you what i like i'm going to show you what i would do to make it even better in this case the first thing that i realized is that this head Headline is a little bit generic. I could see a lot of web design agencies having the same headline. What I would do is play around with this headline to make it more specific, as well as show what sort of benefit the prospect will get when they work with this agency. After I read this section right here, I'm kind of expecting a button right here, which I see this agency doesn't have. So that's something that I would add to make it even easier for somebody that is interested to get in touch with them right here. When I take a look at this from mobile, I noticed that there is no clear call to action right here so that's something that i would definitely make sure that i add to make it very easy for somebody that is on mobile that is interested to have a button to get in touch without having to start scrolling and finding buttons here something small that i notice is that the word generating has a capital g right here but these ones do not so i like to make sure that my website is consistent and that i clean these small details as well this section feels a little bit heavy or kind of hard to read for me and this is something that i see on a lot of high level websites when there's columns kind of like what we see right here there's not that much spacing or padding here at the top bottom or even here on the sides this lack of space right here kind of makes seem everything a little bit tight and not easy to read what i would do is add more spacing here and then here on the sides as well these small icons look a little bit corporate to me and boring what i would do is make it so that instead there's kind of like a big one right here a big two a big three and of course add more spacing so that this section looks a little bit bigger as well i'm going to show you a redesign that i did for the hero section so this is my redesign the first thing that you'll notice is that the headline is a little bit more specific get more home service jobs with a high converting website the second thing is that this image was a little bit too big and was kind of like taking too much attention so what i did was make it a little bit smaller and at the same time added that button that i mentioned earlier i noticed that having both white buttons here was a little bit distracting or kind of like didn't look good for me so what i did was play around with the styling of this button right here and this is what i came up with something very small as well is that in this case these two were on a single line and this one was on two lines which kind of made it a little bit odd so what i did instead was make it so that it's just like this in the one line Something that I would add, which I forgot to mention earlier, is the fact that I would add a place for testimonials. It seems like they have great social proof right here and they've been able to achieve amazing results for the clients. If they could add some sort of like reviews or a case study or something like that would make it even a stronger website so that more prospects would book a call. <music> All right, so this is the second website. This is a real estate investment firm. What I think is awesome is that the person that built this website messaged me and told me that they have no web design experience, they have no CSS experience, but they just used my Notion doc to implement a lot of the effects that you're gonna see on this website. Now, before we go any further, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have this Notion doc, which has all of my Goha level web design resources. It has tutorials, exclusive videos. It's everything that I use to build better websites on high level, and in this case, case this agency owner even though he has no coding experience or web design experience at all was able to build this website with beautiful effects now going back to this website right here as i mentioned i love the fact that there's this cool effect here this graphic i think is very cool and because of the fact that these buttons have feedback make it more likely that a prospect would go ahead and click the button compared to other real estate investment firm websites which are a little bit too corporate and boring this definitely has a lot more personality here in this section they've also talked about the different benefits 
benefits like buying and building independently, partnering with investors and so on. Lastly, this FAQ section I think is beautiful and it's great because in the case that a prospect still has a question, they can easily get their questions answered before booking a call right here. All right, so the first thing that I would do to fix this website is that at a clear glance, this hero section right here doesn't tell me who this is for or doesn't tell me too clearly what this company does. So if a prospect was to land on this website, we need to make it very easy for them to know exactly what we do and how we can help them. Another thing that I noticed is that this background has a lot going on. Plus the fact that this text is moving makes it so that this section looks a little bit distracting. It's hard for me to kind of like focus my attention on this section. I did some work and what I would do to fix this section right here is do something like you see right here. First of all, you see that this is very clear and it tells me exactly what they do and where they do it. In this case, we say invest smarter in Texas real estate. Then we talk about how we actually help investors. We help you build wealth through and then we have the rotating effect right here, just a little bit smaller so that it's still there if you want to keep it without making this section distracting, especially because we already have like a busy image as a background. Now, something else that I think we could add on this website is add something like this to help build more social proof. And if they have some sort of like certification or stats or some awards, they could definitely add this right here to make their hero section stronger. Now for the call to action, I think we can use language that is a little bit more strong. So in this case, it says connect with us. What I think would be even more effective is say something like start investing. Something that I would change on this section right here is that I see that this and this have the same font weights, meaning both the headline and the paragraph are set to bold. What I would do is play around so that make it so that this is not bold and at the same time make this a little bit smaller just because these two text styles look a little bit too close to each other. At the same time, I would play around with the copy to make it even more evident or more clear for somebody that is new like myself to know exactly what this company is about. For the font size, I would do the same right here. I would make this font a little bit smaller and the same issue that I mentioned in this website right here where there was not enough space on these cards right here. I would just make sure that I add more spacing here on the sides at the bottom and then on the top as well. Now, as I mentioned, I love these icons right here because they help illustrate a point and make it more visually engaging for a prospect. What I would change is that these two are very close to each other and I mean the background and the actual icon. To make it very easy for prospects, we want to make sure that we pick colors that have a high contrast ratio. To check this, what you can do is go to a site like coolers.co and I have the contrast checker just if you click this, it will be this one right here. I've put both colors right here and you see that I have a very low score. So what I would do is play around with the different colors and find a blue that would give me a better contrast ratio. So in this case, you see that this blue would be a better option than the one that we had before. Overall, I think this is a great website, especially because of the fact that this person had never built a website before. I know for sure that it's better than the first website that I ever built. And it definitely has a lot of things working for it. Just needs some touches to make sure that we clean it up. We make it more clear so that we can actually increase our conversions here as well. The last website that I wanted to review is this one right here. This is a web design agency on high level. I love the color and I love the fact that this agency owner accentuated a few words throughout the website. I thought that was very clever. There's clear call to actions both here and here. And I love the fact that when you hover over them, they change color as well as the arrow appearing, which I think is very good and incentivizes users to click. As I keep scrolling down, I see that there's this cool section right here, which highlights the values and is displayed in a very interactive way, which is a cool effect that I also show how to do on my Notion doc as well. My favorite section on this website was this right here. So here you see that it says past results. The agency only has blurred out the actual clients and personal information, but you can see that the general layout is very cool. It's displaying the results that they've been able to get for all the clients, which makes it so that a prospect is more likely to trust them and book a call. As I hover my mouse over this image right here, I can kind of see the before and after, which helps visualize a prospect, the type of results that this agency is able to achieve for their clients. Then we see this cool section right here, which says a website can be your most powerful weapon. So the fact that he's outlining why some websites collect dust while others actually get a lot of clients is great because the prospect can see that there's actual benefits for a website if it's done right and implemented with the right steps as you see right here. If at any point the prospect does have the question, why should we work with this agency? They've clearly added a section right here, which they address that question. And at the end, there's this calendar right here where a prospect can can't directly book, even if you don't click this right here and they just finish scrolling this page right here. So overall, there's a lot of things that I like, especially this section right here. And let me show you a few things that I would do to make it even better. 
for this website right here instead of saying crafting the future of branding and web design which for a local business might not mean anything at all what i did instead is say this right here so web design for nyc businesses that get you results even though we're not going after a specific niche because i did see that he had home service as well as coaching clients we can differentiate ourselves but making it location specific which can help a web design agency establish themselves locally if a prospect did have a business in new york city this right here speaks a little bit more to them as opposed to what we had right here something else that i noticed is that these fonts right here were a little bit hard to read for me as well so i would just pick a font like this one right here which is a little bit easier for a prospect to read especially for text heavy sections like you see right here as with the other two websites the lack of space right here makes it so that it's a little bit hard for a prospect to read so changing not only the spacing but also the copy from this all the way to this would make it so that's easier for a prospect to understand and consume as well for a local business these words might not mean too much to them but if we replace these words and use terms like this instead get found on google a website that works for you would make it more likely for a prospect to see the benefit and more likely to book a call as well this section as i mentioned has this very cool element what i would try to do is make it so that this is left aligned as well as add more padding between where this sentence ends and this right here just because there's not that much space here or even here as well and then this section i like the copy what i would do is try to play around with the different sections to avoid having too many lines right here and present the information in a way that's easy for a prospect to consume as well as i mentioned i would add more spacing here on the sides just to clean it up and play around with a different type of font but overall great and i love the fact that he accentuated different words as i mentioned earlier as well now if you're a business that has a website on high level and you want to take it to the next level but you don't have any coding experience i have this notion doc it has all of my tutorials exclusive videos it is the resource that i used every single day to build better websites that stand out that beat the competition so if you're interested click the link in the description and get access to my notion doc.